Hey guys, welcome back to the 30 day poetry challenge. We have reached day 19 and today I have a story to tell you. Yesterday, my son and I went out in the town because we had to. <laughs> Seems to be a, a perfectly good excuse to go out and about these days, sometimes the only excuse. So we found ourselves up on the Danforth and lo and behold, to my utter amazement and bliss, we found a neat new used bookstore called The Scribe. It's this tiny, cute little, it, it runs it runs deep. It's narrow, but it's deep kind of thing. Stacked wall to wall with rare and uh, collectible and vintage books. Heaven, heaven for me. Now, the ironic thing about this is that just the same day I was thinking on the poetry challenge, I would like to do a go find a new poet challenge and get to know them. And I was going to say, I don't know if you can get to a bookstore, but you know, go online and find somebody that you previously didn't know anything about and get to know their poetry. And of course, as we we're up there, I found a bookstore to happily to go into and I marched right up to the counter and said, do you have a poetry section? And she said, of course we do. And I said, well, gosh, I've forgotten that things like that exist these days. You know, it's just, it seems like a world away that I have just wandered down the street somewhere and decided I wanted to go into a bookstore because I could, sans mask. So we went in, um, oh, it's, I will put a link to the bookstore um, underneath in the comments, but it is at 375 Danforth Avenue East. So if you're in that neck of the woods, please go and check them out. It's a wonderful collection. But I was so happy because I found two books, two collections of poetry that I absolutely love. So one of them that I found is called Prayers from the Ark um, by Carmen Bernos de Gaztold. And this was originally written in French, but it was translated by um, the British author uh, Rumor Godden. And I just wanted to tell you a little bit more about her. So Carmen um, was obviously, you know, a French poet. She grew up in France. She was partially raised in a convent and uh, during the years of the war, during the German occupation, she worked in a silk factory and this is where she started um, putting some of these on paper. So working in a silk factory during the German occupation doesn't sound like a shit ton of fun. I don't blame her. Um, these are really, some of them are, are, are very lovely and introspective but all of them have this element of fun to them because they're literally what do you think an animal would pray for if it was riding the ark with Noah? So I can understand why she would need to escape to a completely different reality, um, you know, and, uh, and create some of these. So this was found by the, by the British author um, Godin, who was helping some nuns in, in England <laughs> clean out a cupboard. And she found these and loved them so much that that's why she translated from, that's why she translated them from the French. So I would like to read you a couple of these just because they are so incredibly fun. And uh, the first one, well, each of them is, you know, a different animal. And the first one is the prayer of the cock. Do not forget, Lord, it is I who make the sunrise. I am your servant, but with the dignity of my calling, I need some glitter and ostentation. Noblesse oblige. All the same, I am your servant. Only do not forget, Lord, I make the sunrise. No sense of humility at all. <laughs> Next one is the prayer of the goldfish. Can you imagine? 
Can you imagine Noah stopping to fish a goldfish? <laughs> so, they're lovely illustrations too. Um, oh God, forever I turn in this hard crystal, so transparent, yet I find no way out. Lord, deliver me from the cramp of this water and these terrifying things I see through it. Put me back in the play of your torrents, in your limpid springs. Let me no longer be a little goldfish in its prison of glass, but a living spark in the gentleness of your reeds. If I was a goldfish on Noah's Ark, I think I would be praying the same thing. All right, the next one I wanted to do, <laughs> the prayer of the little ducks. Dear God, give us a flood of water. Let it rain tomorrow and always. Give us plenty of little slugs and other luscious things to eat. Protect all folk who quack and everyone who knows how to swim. <laughs> they get right to the point, don't they? Next one is the prayer of the monkey. Dear God, why have you made me so ugly? With this ridiculous face, grimaces seem asked for. Shall I always be the clown of your creation? Oh, who will lift this melancholy from my heart? Could you not one day let someone take me seriously? Lord, oh, amen. I'll end with an amen. Oh. <laughs> the prayer of the butterfly. Lord, where was I? Oh yes, this flower, the sun. Thank you, your world is beautiful. This scent of roses. Where was I? A drop of dew rolls to sparkle in a lily's heart. I have to go. Where? I don't know. The wind has painted fancies on my wings. Fancies. Where was I? Oh, yes, Lord, I had something to tell you. They're very scattered butterflies. All right, and the last one is not really a prayer. It's more like a sermon. <clears throat> the prayer of the cat. Lord, I am the cat. It is not exactly that I have something to ask of you. No, I ask nothing of anyone, but if you have by some chance in some celestial barn a little white mouse or a saucer of milk, I know someone who would relish them. Wouldn't you like someday to put a curse on the whole race of dogs? If so, I should say, amen. Fickle, 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 fickle. Anyways, um, that is prayers from the Ark. So my challenge to you is I gave you a couple examples of animals. I would like you to write a list of the animals that you could think of and pick one, pick two, pick however many you want and go inside the animal and make it fun, make it light. If a rhinoceros had something to say, what would it be? You know, if, if uh, what other animals? So I'll let you guys th think of the animals. Turtle, turtle, if a turtle could say something, what would it be other than, oh God, this is heavy. So my first, my first uh, uh, mission to you is, is to write some poems from, from the perspective of the animals, but also to find a new poet, to find new poetry. So it's, it's double pronged. So one, the prompt is the animal poems, two, just find a new poet. And if you can go out to a bookstore, wear a mask, and, you know, rifle through the shelves and see if you can find something or go online if that's better for you and just search poetry and see what comes up. Uh, if you do have a chance to get to the scribe, 
It is absolutely lovely. Again, it is on the Danforth. It's 375 Danforth Avenue East, and the bookstore is owned by a fellow named Justin Daniel Wood. So please do pop by and, uh, and give them a visit. I will put a link to their store below so you can check it out and have fun with this. Take care and I will see you tomorrow for day 20. Bye guys. Thank you for joining us on this wonderful journey into poetry. And I'd like to wish you good luck with your own writing and poetry projects. Please subscribe so you don't miss a day. And thank you so much.